cannot be, there's nothing you cannot do, there's nothing you cannot have. You are the most magnificent, the most remarkable, the most splendid being God has ever created. But who could reject such wondrous magnificence? But you do not know who you are. And you think you are a great deal less. I tell you this, you are your own rule maker. You set the guidelines. And you decide how well you have done, how well you are doing. For you are the one who has decided who and what you really are, and who you want to be. And you are the only one who can assess how well you're doing. All you see in your world is the outcome of your idea about it. Do you want your life to truly take off? Life will take off for you, then, when you choose for it to. Make a choice. Like, you just decide. You have not so chosen as yet. You have procrastinated, prolonged, protracted, protested. Now it's time that you promulgated and produced what you have been promised. What it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. Your world would not be in its present condition were you to have simply listened to your experience. The result of your not listening to your experience is that you keep reliving it over and over again. You cannot resist something to which you grant no reality. The act of resisting a thing is the act of granting it life. When you resist an energy, you place it there. You attract not just what you fear, you attract what you feel, what you are. The more you resist, the more you make it real. Whatever it is you are resisting, what you open your eyes to look at disappears. That is, it ceases to hold its illusory form. If you look at something, truly look at it, you will see right through it and right through any illusion it holds for you, leaving nothing but ultimate reality in your sight. In the face of ultimate reality, you